my nieces, my nephews, what is going on? It's your favorite flat earth auntie, Auntie Tatiana. And yes, I know my eye is swollen. I had an allergic reaction, so let's just ignore that. Today we're gonna be talking about why Globe Earth here is fake news. Make sure to share this video and show it to all the naysayers out there who say, why would they lie about the shape of the earth? I'm gonna tell you why they would lie. The Globe Earth is an agenda that has been pushed by the Freemasons. If you've already been down the conspiracy rabbit holes, then you already know how we feel about the Freemasons. Now, I just find it funny that the main people pushing the globe earth theory are Freemasons. Check it out. First, we have Pythagoras. And right there, you can see the Masonic compass and ruler. This thing right here. Pythagoras was the first man to assert that the earth was spherical. You can pause to read right here. Next, we have Copernicus, Masonic compass right there. And he was an astronomer who proposed a heliocentric system, basically saying that planets orbit around the sun. This nonsense up here. Next, we have Galileo. We see his Masonic compass, and he's famous for discovering that the Earth moves, or as he says, rotates around the sun. Next, we have Kepler, his Masonic compass. And he's most famous for his three laws of planetary motion. And last but not least, we have Mr. Newton here, his Masonic compass, and he's the one that predicted that the Earth's globe should be slightly oblate due to the spinning of the Earth around its axis. Well, let's not forget, he also discovered gravity. So as you can see, Freemasons all contributed to the heliocentric globe model that society believes in today. And one of the theories about Freemasons is that they control the government. Here we have the first president of the United States, George Washington, and he was a Freemason. Let's zoom in to his apron. You see this right here? I'm gonna show you this even bigger. This apron that George Washington was wearing shows the sun and moon underneath the dome, basically in your face that we live in an enclosed system, not a globe like they're trying to push on everyone else to believe. Now let's talk about the phrase, the great architect of the universe. When you hear that, the great architect of the universe, you automatically think about God. And it says that that phrase is used within Freemasonry. Now the definition of masonry is the art and craft of building and fabricating but well, let's focus on those two words, building and fabricating. If the earth was really flat and enclosed within a firmament, you would have to build and fabricate a lie to trick people into thinking that it was really a globe. Are they always pictured with the compass because they are posing as the great architect of the universe? Because technically they did create their own universe, this globe earth, and people are believing it. So they are the great architect of this fake universe. Because in this old painting that we see, this figure is supposed to represent God and he has the compass. So God would be the great architect. And yet all the Freemasons are shown with the same compass and they are the great architects of this globe earth. It doesn't exist. Now in Gnosticism, the great architect of the universe is the same God of the Old Testament, the one who is in opposition to Christ. Now in this video on my YouTube page, I explain to you guys how the God in the Bible is not who we think it is. The God that is being mentioned in the Bible is actually El, who is an Anunnaki, meaning it's not really a God, it's just an advanced being that came to earth playing as God. And if El slash Enki tells everyone that they are the architect of the universe, then that would explain why Freemasonry uses the great architect of the universe to represent the deity El. So basically the Freemasons already know that who they worship is not the true creator. They worship the creator of this fake heliocentric universe that they created. Now that we have a better understanding about the Freemasons influence on this globe earth, let's talk about the why. Why lie? They want you to believe you live in a fictional world. Therefore, your fictional character, which is known as your straw man, will work in that world. So when we look at the word lawful and legal, there's a maxim of law that says he who creates it owns it. They've created a globe. You see, in the natural world, God's world, nature, I say God, whoever that is for you, it could be natural creation, sorts, whoever, but I'm just using God as a reference. You can't patent what is organic. They cannot take away and manipulate what is organic. They can create from it, but they cannot change it. So they cannot change the non-rotating level plane. But they need you to believe in them and not God. They need you to believe in fiction and not reality. So therefore they've created a globe. And on this globe, they control your mind. And on this globe, they register you. You see, they've created corporations. 
They've created birth certificates. They've registered your birth certificate to all these corporations. A corporation is a dead entity. It's fake. It doesn't exist. Just like the globe. They've made you believe you are living on a spinning ball on this world that doesn't exist. And they call it a globe. It's all fake. You see, in this fake world, on this globe, we have digital currency. It doesn't exist. They create money from thin air. So they need to create a separate world, a legal world, where you can be your straw man. And in that world, they make you believe that you have to pay taxes. You have to give away your hard earned money. In that world, they have taken away what God has naturally given you, which is dominion over the earth. They've taken away the land, air and water from you. And because you do not know where you live, you have given it to them. You have given up your right of dominion over what God naturally gave you. It's even in the Bible. And you have decided to live in a fictional world called the globe. And there they own your mind. You see, in this fictional world, they register. Everything is registered and you've registered your rights away the rights that you were given from birth. You've registered your children away. You've registered your car away. They've taken away what is yours. And you are not ready to claim it back because if you are not ready to realize that you have your own senses, your own eyes, your own feelings, which tell you we are not spinning. This is all a lie. Pull back the curtain and realize you live here and you own, you own eat an equal share of the earth and they've taken it away from you they create slavery they've created slavery because you don't know who you are because you don't even know where you live because he who creates it owns it and if you truly believe you live on a spinning ball then you are owned don't forget in their world you will own nothing and be happy why would they want to lie to us about the shape of the earth how about the fact that it limits the resources, limits the amount of land that humans can inhabit? How about it gives an excuse to things like this to depopulate the earth because it's getting too full? Or maybe they would lie because they want you to believe in the Big Bang Theory, that everything occurred by random. We've got lucky. The universe was just like, bam, life. This disproves a creator. Every religion mentions a firmament. Have they told us the truth and told us that there was all these lands out here you think we would be listening to their bull no we'd leave and go run our own so now that we know that we live in this fabricated universe that the elite created then you will realize that we are the true aliens we are aliens to this fake universe now let's look up what a lien means Lien is a right to keep possession of property belonging to another person until a debt owed by that person is discharged. So this earth realm really belongs to us, but the elites and the people pushing globe earth have a right to keep possession of this earth because we believe that it is a globe. If we acknowledge that the earth was really flat and enclosed within a system, we would no longer owe the elites anything. Now here's an example of how Lien works. You hold the title on your home, meaning that you're the legal owner of that property. But because you owe your mortgage lender the money that they lent you to buy your house, they will put a lien on that property. So because you guys are all buying into this heliocentric globe earth, they have put a lien on us. So that's why we are the true aliens of this realm.